This project is sponsored by PCBWay. They have all the services you need to create your project at the best price, whether it's a school project or complex professional project. On PCBWay you can share your experiences or get inspiration for your next project. They also provide completed surface mount SMT PCB assembly service at the best price and ISO 9001 quality control. Uh, visit www.pcbway.com for more services. Hello! Wireless energy transfer, also known as wireless power transmission, is a method of getting useful electricity from one place to another without the need of electrical conducting media. This innovative technology eliminates the needs for traditional power cables, offering a convenient and efficient way to charge or power various, de various devices. Our wireless power transmission system generally consists of transmitter that converts an input power into a time-varying electromagnetic field and receiver that receives the power from the electromagnetic field and convert it back into DC or AC electric circuit which then powers an electrical load. In some of my previous videos I present a way to build such systems, one of which focused on the transmission distance and add on the coefficient of efficiency, i.e. transmitting more power over shorter distances. This time I will present you with such an experiment that combines the positive aspects of two previously mentioned projects. Unlike previous projects where I used so-called Mazili ZVS driver on the transmitter side, this time I will use a modified class E Tesla coil circuit where no load consumption is minimal and at the same time the transmitting energy over given distance in relatively, is relatively large. The device is really simple to make and consists of a minimal number of components. IRFP 260N power MOSFET mounted on a big heatsink, a few resistors, potentiometer, Zener diode and TVS protector, two capacitors, one coil consists 30 turns, an AMOLED copper wire with 0.5 cross section and transmitting and receiver coil. I wound these coils on a plastic cylinder with the diameter of 11 cm and used insulated wire with, with thickness on 1.5 mm. As you can see on these coils I made an output for each single turn. So I could precisely choose the optimal number of turns during, during experimentation. For the consumer on the receiving side I use a combination of 10 watt LED and regular white 10 mm LED that, so that I can cover both aspects the maximum transmission distance with small diode and maximum power with 10 watt diode. This time I will not make precise measurement of transmitted power because we are dealing with high frequencies during the transfer so you can visually wrongly conclude about the amount of power and the distance. First let me briefly explain the circuit diagram. The device is powered by 9 to 60 volts DC and to protect the MOSFET the current at the source is limited to 2 amperes. I put an automatic 2 amperes fuse at the input to turn off the source in case of damage to any of the components. With the potentiometer we adjust the voltage at the gate of the MOSFET and D1 and TVS serve to protect against parasitic voltage peaks. The oscillation frequency depends on the value of C2 and L2 uh, and with these specific values is about 11 MHz. For C2 I use a variable capacitor from an old tube radio with which I can change the oscillation frequency within a cer certain range. Next comes the interesting part which is testing. On the power supply display we will monitor the voltage, current and total power consumed 
on the transmitter side which is this coil and this circuit. Uh, let me tell you that I determined the optimal number of turns on the transmitter and receiver coils experimentally after many hours of testing. The transmitter coil consists of 12 turns and the receiver coil contains 8 turns. First I will test at what greatest distance while using the lowest power possible power consumption I will be able to light a 10 watt LED. LED. Uh, let, uh, first let's see the total consumption of the device in idle mode with a voltage of 12 volts. For that purpose, purpose I will remove secondary coil and power on the device. We see that it is less than uh, uh, 5, uh, 0.5 watt, exactly 0.45 watts. And if you look at the previously mentioned video using the ZVS driver, this value was about 71 watt, which is more than 150 times more. Now let's see at what maximum distance a 10, 10, 10 watt LED will glow and how much the consumption will increase. We put the secondary coil in the, the same line as a primary. And as, as we see the LED glow at exactly 22 centimeters distance. About 22 centimeters. As we see the consumption is increased, is increased by only 10 milliwatts, which is an almost unbelievable result. On 12 centimeters. only 0 0.6 watts. Uh, next, I will gradually bring the LED closer to the transmitter. At a distance of about 5 cm, uh, the LED shines with relatively high intensity. Exact, exactly 5 cm. And the uh, total consumption we now will see is 0 0.773 watts.
Now I will perform the same test but with a standard 10 mm white diffuse LED. I will remove the receiver coil and power on the device. The idle consumption is as we see 0 0.45 watts. We see let this glow 20, 30 and more than 35 centimeters. We see that the LED lights up at more than more than 35 centimeters and the consumption on the transmitting side has not changed at all. It has a minimal or no readable value. You may also be interested in the frequency of oscillation of the transmitter and we will check it with a small oscilloscope uh, to whose probe I'll connect a short wire. As we see the frequency is about 2.24 MHz. These were tests to demonstrate the properties at, at minimum voltage and current and it is immediately obvious that the results of these devices are incomparable to those of the previously mentioned with Z, ZVS driver. Also I want to emphasize that this time I will only perform a visual analysis of the receiver site according to the intensity of the LEDs. And soon in one of the next videos I will also create a presentation with detailed calculation, calculations as well as the coefficient of useful action in, real, in relation to distance.
And finally, a brief conclusion. This project successfully demonstrates a high efficient and long range wireless power transfer system using a modified class E Tesla coil offering significantly improved distance compared to previous designs without using passive amplifiers. And the total input energy is tens, even hundreds of times smaller than that in the previous similar experiment also presented on this channel. And safety note, Please do not attempt to recreate these experiments shown on the experiments shown on this video unless you are familiar with high voltage safety techniques. Direct current even above 60 volts may be lethal even when the AC supply voltage has been disconnected due to the stored energy in the capacitors. I have no responsibility on any hazards caused by this circuit. Be very careful.